And what are we looking at here? Uh, this is the most recent patient that we got last week. That's okay. Fine. My name is John Bookvar. I am the director of the Neurosurgical Laboratory for Translational Stem Cell Research, as well as one of the directors of the Brain Tumor Research Group. Excellent growth of these cells. We're truly a translational laboratory. So what does that mean? We hope to move the information that we learn at the bench, which is here, to the bedside of the patient. Our laboratory is focused on studying those stem cells in the brain with the hope that someday those cells may provide treatments for things such as stroke, spinal cord injury, brain tumors, Parkinson's. I'm gonna take these cells over to the bench and see if we can see anything. The important thing for all stem cell scientists is can we use stem cells in the brain to treat central nervous system or brain disorders. For example, a patient with Parkinson's disease or a patient with a spinal cord injury may need cells replenished or replaced. Can we use those patient's stem cells to develop tissue to replace those tissues lost to injury or disease? Hi, Brian. Hey, Jim. My interest is in brain and spinal tumors, which means that I focus surgically on the treatment of patients who suffer from both benign and malignant brain tumors as well as spinal cord tumors, both tumors that arise in the spine and that go to the spine, such as metastasis. Every day when I treat patients with brain tumors, it gives me great excitement when I'm able to take the patient's brain tumor out, then take the patient's specimen to the laboratory and look under the microscope and say, wow, this tumor is, a, is different. This tumor has a certain profile or signature, if you will, that may render this patient amenable to a certain treatment. This is the patient that we saw growing from the operating room two days yeah, ago. Yeah, this corresponds to that blot over there. When I came here, we helped to start our brain tumor tissue bank, which is a bank where we store all of our patient specimens. Once we store the patient specimen, this gives us the ability to look for new and innovative treatment options for those patients. I think there's a lot of excitement right now in the field of stem cells, both in the idea of the cancer stem cell and the normal non-cancer stem cell. And again, with appropriate study and funding, we expect to make significant progress in the understanding of the very basis of human disease. We hope that just by studying a stem cell, I'll begin to understand why the cells in the brain start to degenerate in Alzheimer's disease, in Parkinson's disease, and in addition to understanding the role of the stem cell in spinal cord injury. One of the most exciting things about Wild Cornell Neurological Surgery and about the institution at Wild Cornell Medical College is it is at the epicenter of the greatest city in the world. And at its fingertips are some of the greatest medical tools. And that includes surgical devices, so the state-of-the-art equipment that includes intraoperative imaging, intraoperative navigation systems, much like the GPS that guides our cars. In addition, in this part of the east side of Manhattan, we have some of the finest scientific institutions in the world that include Wild Cornell Medical School, Rockefeller University, and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. And that tri-institutional setting is probably the densest combination of physician scientists you'll get anywhere in the world.